Welcome back, Love Stylers. I'm Misty, and today we're going to be talking about attributes over flaws. Seems so obvious. Let's talk about this. This should be fun. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing to Love Style. So, in this world today, I find people are very critical on themselves, especially on others and how others do things in the world and decisions that other people make that we would never have made. But how often are we concentrating on the attributes of ourselves and especially of other people? So talking about flaws, don't let a so-called flaw get in your way of living the life you want to live and get in your way of doing some of the things you want to do. So let's get into this. Flaws are imperfections. We're human. We have them. We are born with flaws. Let's talk about the physical flaws for a minute. This is the surface level flaw we're talking about here real quick. You may have a big nose like I do. You may have a weird hairline or some eczema like I do. I'm just using myself as an example. I know my flaws. You know, the last video I made, speaking of flaws, this video here from last week, you may want to check out about astrology signs and diets. You know, I watched that video. I stepped out of my comfort zone. One of my flaws on that video, as you could see my tummy, I'm big muffin topped out. Watch it. You can look at my tummy if you want, but also listen to the content. It's pretty good. So I could choose to concentrate on my muffin top and the fact that I edited the video too many times, my first edit ever, or I can concentrate on the fact that the content of the video is great. I love it. Check it out. Flaws may be physical. We can always improve physically. That's what a lot of us are trying to do here. When we're dieting, we talk a lot about diet on this channel and lifestyle changes you can make to be your best version. We all know our flaws. I'm bald. I don't have nice legs. I'm too fat. All this stuff doesn't mean anything. You can improve it. But I'm actually going to concentrate today on the flaws you think you may have as a person. This goes deep. You know, some examples of flaws, which I don't want to spend too much time on the flaw part is, you know, I'm shy. I'm socially awkward. I hear this a lot, especially today. I can't speak in front of people. Bullshit. You can speak in front of people. You've done it in your household. You talk to your children. You can speak up. Don't be afraid to bring out the best in you. If you have an opinion, you're not socially awkward all the time. Maybe in big crowds. I get that. At a meeting at work, you may be embarrassed to speak up. You may think everybody's staring at you and it may feel very, very uncomfortable. This happened to me lately. I spoke up anyway. I was very nervous, but I'm glad I did it because I really felt I had something to say. So I was trying to use my attribute as a leader to speak up for the crowd. And I'm very proud of myself for that. That's just a personal thing. But your attributes, let's talk about some real stuff here. Well, it's like, Misty, I'm too shy. I can't just go up to someone I never met and start talking to them. Yes, you can. You probably have a million times in a store and someone works there and you ask them a question. You can talk to anybody you like. So we have our social flaws. You may not want to speak in public. These are the common ones. I'm socially awkward if I don't know somebody. I don't know what to talk about to a new person. I think you're overthinking it. But these are very common and understandable. It's out of your comfort zone. Ease into it, I say. Um, you may have emotional flaws where uh, you get anxiety in large crowds, for example, or you may feel like um, your opinion may not be embraced by others, so you keep it to yourself. These are the common ones. I think we should all try to work on this stuff. And you know, if you are dieting, you may not have a lot of confidence to try 
a new diet like carnivore or keto and you think, well, I've dieted many times in my life and I just, I can never do it for more than a couple weeks. You can. And it just takes a little rehearsal is all. So let's rehearse on being our best version. You know, before I get into the attributes, which is gonna be the best part of the video, of course, I wanna say something. Uh, I wanna tell you about my experience yesterday. Yesterday I went hiking in the Smoky Mountains, which is only about 20 minutes, 30 minutes from where we live here in Tennessee. And we met some new friends and I was in a crowd of six of us all together. Now, everybody else was in their 20s, Maybe someone was in their early 30s. And you know, I'm 48 years old and Andrew's 45, so we were the old couple. I thought maybe I couldn't keep up with these young whippersnappers. Um, that's a flaw. I, I actually worried about this before we got there. You know, that's another thing. Flaws, fear, it's all the same thing. We're concentrating on the negative, but I didn't think I could keep up. You know, there were some real cool people there, met some great friends, new friends. There was a TV personality there. Um, there was a Marine there. And I was like, wow, these guys are, you know, these guys are gonna get up that hill and three minutes flat and I'm gonna be in the back struggling, struggling along. I made it, we made it. Andrew and I kept up fine. But, you know, I was concentrating on my flaws and. How, before I even got there about, well, I'm flawed, I weigh, you know, 40 pounds more than these women, and we're the oldest couple there, and, you know, it was intimidating to me. But it turned out my attributes took over. I did very well on the hike. I kept up with everybody. Andrew did as well. We've been practicing. We've been rehearsing for the hike and walking up some steep hills around the neighborhood here. And I ended up using my attributes, my good conversational skills with these new people that I wanted to make a good impression on and maybe become friends with eventually. And my attributes took over and I was very proud of myself for this. This is really personal. So let's talk about attributes. I'm a very positive person. I like to talk about positive things. As a matter of fact, one of my flaws, to go back just for a second, is I don't like to talk about anything negative. I think that that is negative. But I just have to realize this is just how life is. You have yin and yang, positive and negative, flaws and attributes. I like to concentrate on attributes. That works for my personality. It keeps me up, upbeat, and I like to be resonate in an upbeat manner that helps me in my life. Sometimes you meet people who like to resonate at a lower frequency and like to concentrate on the flaws or the negative, and that's where they are comfortable. If that's you, or if you know someone like that, I would encourage you to lift them up, and I would encourage you, if that is you, to try thinking about the attributes. Now, let's start with your attributes. As a matter of fact, I would like some comments on this video. Sometimes I don't know if I'm getting through to anybody. I really want to get through to somebody and open this discussion up. If you are so bold, I dare you to list one flaw in the comments, followed by three to five attributes or strengths that you have. This is gonna be about yourself. If you have trouble with this part, ask somebody, what is something good about me? I'm sure you can come up with some on your own, but sometimes it does really hit home when you hear it from another person. So, hit me up in the comments, one flaw, three to five attributes following that. And I want you to look at that and realize we're gonna start concentrating on the three to five attributes from now on. So attributes or strengths, it's like, Misty, I'm going to be conceited if I just like go around thinking I'm awesome all the time. I disagree with that. I think you should think you're awesome all the time. You are. So just realize it. Accept it. First, accept it. You're awesome. There are things you can do that nobody else can do like you. 
And some of your attributes may be physical. You may have great hair. You may have uh, a nice figure to work with. And you may be great at sports. Um, you may know how to put an outfit together. These are all creative attributes or attributes you were born with naturally. We need to start embracing ourselves. Let's focus on the good stuff, the stuff that God gave us and how blessed we are to be able to experience this life. You know, the outside is just a costume and we're just playing a role here on earth. Let's make the best of it. Let's be so creative and bring out our attributes with our creativity and realize you are good at things. Let's start bringing those out. And maybe you can cook. It may be you can entertain people and you're a lot of fun to hang out with. You're a great conversationalist. You may make people laugh. This is a great attribute. You may be very playful and lighthearted and bring up the resonation or frequency in a room. Get everybody else happy. You may be able to play the piano. You may be able to paint, make jewelry. We could go on and on about your attributes. Well, what if you say like, well, Misty, like I'm not that creative. You are creative. You may be able to teach people or train people at work better than most others can. Easy to understand when you speak. You may be someone who reads a lot, has a lot of information to share. We could really, there's no end to the attributes that you have. Let's start bringing them out. I want to hear about your attributes. This is really important to me. Please write in the comments your attributes. I want one flaw though, but I want you to compare how many more attributes you have compared to the one flaw you may be talking about. What do you have to offer this world? You have something to offer this world. Let's start concentrating on those things, the positive things, your strengths, and share them with people. I don't think people do this enough. I think we're super critical, whether inside our head or if we speak about it. Your words have impact. So be careful what you say. Let's say nice things. Let's not be critical of somebody. Let's point out other people's attributes. This will help you realize your own strengths and attributes. Look at somebody you normally wouldn't see the attributes and try to find something. Treat it as a challenge for yourself. Start seeing the good in others, but mostly start seeing the good in yourself. Start sharing it with everybody. Don't be embarrassed of it. It doesn't make you conceited. It makes you confident. There's nothing sexier than confidence. This is a fact. This is not my opinion. There's nothing sexier than confidence. When you bring out your strengths and attributes, you naturally become confident. You won't even know you're doing it. You won't have to try. It will exude out of you and you will resonate at a high frequency and that just spreads to others. And this is what we're about here at Love Style. We love talking about this stuff. Let me know if you wanna get more into the spiritual stuff. We do a lot of diet stuff. I think it's all tied together with the lifestyle choices you're making. And another thing about attributes before I end this video, how adaptable are you in certain situations and tricky situations, even the one we're all going through now, you know, I remember at first I didn't want to wear a mask. And then I said, you know what? This could work. You throw a mask on, you protect yourself and others. If there's any truth to it, I can exist in the world. I can adapt. And we've all adapted, especially recently, to things we thought we could never adapt to. And now it's like second nature. So be adaptable. Try to be confident and use your attributes to your advantage Share it with everybody else around you. Lighten up, I say. Stop being critical of others. Try to point out their attributes. And embrace this. This could be a fun place to exist, this world. We do not have to be like a hamster on the wheel, just going through the motions. We can actually 
pull the most out of our life, use our creativity, and enjoy this ride, you would be very surprised how much courage you have inside of you. It's part of your attributes. I'm just gonna close with this one last thought because I love to talk about carnivore and it ties in with this, I swear. If you wanna try the carnivore diet or a meat-based lifestyle, be courageous. If you are so bold, try the carnivore diet, try the keto diet, become your best version. I wanted to include that in this video. As always, we wanna thank you for listening to our music. That's Black Eyed Soul. We have a new album ready to come out any day now and more details later on that. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing and commenting. And we'll see you next time on Love Style. Peace. Use your attributes, please. And I